stod i blomst och hade inte varit fått hopp om många år som lyssnade illuminated letters rise from inscriptions in the pavement and fly in a pink mist through the city center They float up from a book which a man is sitting and reading and flow out of a woman's headset. A stream of letters winds its way into the Faculty of Law. A law student, Ida Jordal, is in the library. When I started studying law, I didn't know I had dyslexia. It wasn't until I'd struggled with my exams for two years that I was diagnosed. Now I get a lot of my textbooks in speech synthesis from NLB, and it's free. My reading flows better now, and I can even scan pages, which is very unusual for a person with dyslexia. This is really helpful, as there are thousands of pages in the curriculum every year. I've always enjoyed reading, so that was probably why I wasn't diagnosed while I was at school. I was constantly told that I was lazy when I was doing the best I could. I wish I'd known about my dyslexia and NLB earlier. It would have made going to school so much easier. Let us flow from a wireless router, forming columns of binary numbers. In the world of books, a female audio recorder in a studio. It's 12.30 on Saturday, and I've been sitting here for 20 minutes. I know the restaurant inside out and could plan it all to the letter. I sit hidden in a corner to be on the safe side. Jürgen Greiner, audio book producer. When we produce books here at NLB, we use professional readers, often actors, and we find the right voice for every book. We read in many different genres and book categories. We produce everything from fiction, student textbooks, technical books to cookery and lifestyle books. We have thousands of books in our library, and new books are being produced every day. A young man is sitting on a bench on a train platform. He calls NLB on 22 06 88 10 from his mobile. Ingvild Ornesen, a special librarian for children and adolescents, answers his call. Hi, this is Petter Mikkelsen. Do you have any new audiobooks this week? Hi, Petter. Let me see. I can see you borrowed Yul Nesper's newest book last week. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I did. I thought that his description... Lots of people call us every day to ask what we would recommend and to borrow books. We send out thousands of books every week for free. You can also download books from our webpage yourself. The people who borrow books from us struggle with regular books. This may be due to dyslexia, visual impairment or other reasons, such as ADHD or problems in physically holding a book. In order to borrow, the only thing you need is confirmation of your disability from a professional person. Streams of letters swirl around in machines for CD production. Would you like me to send you the book on a CD? That's okay. I'll download it myself. A train enters the platform. Petter gets up and walks towards it. Gudrun Carson serves dinner for her husband Leif. Look what I made. Your favourite. They help themselves. Leif had a stroke a few years ago, which left him visually impaired. This has a profound effect on anyone, but I think that one of the most difficult things was that he couldn't read newspapers and books any longer. That's why getting Affenpossen as an audio newspaper was so good. And now it's a routine, listening to the paper while we eat. We both enjoy it very much. <laughs> they smile at each other while letters flow out of a daisy player. A blind mother reads to her daughter at her bedside. Tambar is playing with Lego in the living room. Tambar also has a tail because the Dovra family are trolls. That's it for today. Time to go to bed. Good night. The light is switched off in the child's room. Another young girl turns the light on in her bedroom and sits up in bed. She brings out an iPad and opens an audio book. She updates Facebook. 
Can't sleep tonight. Another book then, I guess? Thanks, NLB. Smiley face. Let us stream out into the room. Experience the world of books. Logo NLB. Audio and Braille Library. www.nlb.no Logo Snowbound Film. Oslo 2012.